Hello, wrestling fans, and welcome back to another edition of Wrestling Disasters. We talk about the good, the bad, and the disgusting. <laughs> I am Steve Fall. You can follow me on Twitter at Steve Fall. She is my co-host, Miss Chrissy Love. How are you doing today? Hello, hello. I'm okay. I'm ready to. I hope I don't need a barf bag today. Oh mm. yeah, you might need one, but you also <sighs> might need to put yourself in the placement of Christmas time. That's right, folks. We are talking about a special episode of Wrestling Disasters. <laughs> Merry Christmas and whatever day or month or week or decade you're listening and watching to this. Because today we're talking about December 24th, 2012. It's the night Santa Claus was run over by <laughs> El Belto del Rio. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> I used to love um, his music and his entrance. Then he did some terrible <laughs> things. And so we don't really talk about him anymore. Just like Bruno. We don't talk. We don't talk about the Leo. No, no, no. <laughs> we don't talk about Bato. I'll probably just got sued by Disney. But. Oh. Yeah. Probably, probably yeah. just did. But yeah. if, you, if this is your first time here at Wrestling Disasters, let me explain the concept. We take today's topic. We talk about it. At the end of the program, we hand out the prestigious disaster award. What's that? Well, it's when we hand out the award. And it's either five disasters, which means this topic was the worst possible thing you've ever seen with your eyes, or a half mm -hmm. a disaster saying, meh, it's really not that bad. <laughs> but oh, but uh, this is an interesting topic. This is a very interesting topic. So this yeah. is on Christmas Eve at eight o'clock at night, Eastern yeah. time where I live. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We both live. Yep. And if you know anything about Santa Claus, there is a website where you can actually go on and, and track see him. and track him going across the world. He is going yes. all across the world, dropping mm -hmm. presents millions at a time, millions at a time. They show it on this website. There is a Twitter page for him. There is a TikTok page for him now. Mm -hmm. My kids track him on TikTok. So, yeah. So they are tracking Santa Claus on this website in 2012. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The opening of Raw is there's Santa Claus handing out presents to all the good boys and girls of the WWE. <laughs> here's a championship belt. Here's a t-shirt. You know, here, here's whatever. And then it's time for El Del Rio to come out. He, and mind uh, you, sorry to cut yeah, you yeah, off. No. There's a bunch is a, he, uh, I mean, I've never seen so many kids in the audience for a, a, was a SmackDown ever. It was an it was episode of Raw on Christmas Eve. Oh. Sorry, um, no, it's, it's okay. quite all right. You, it, it get mixed up. We don't even know what, what month we're in right now. We're talking about Christmas <laughs> right. episodes <laughs> of Raw. So trust me, I will not push that against you. But there, yes, there are, <laughs> there are children everywhere in the audience. Very festive night. People are wearing Santa Claus hats. They yeah. are wearing mm -hmm. garland. They are wearing lights around their necks. Everyone is celebrating the festival of lights. But, but Alberto Del Rio, at the time, his entrance, he didn't just walk down the aisle. He drove a new vehicle, a brand new, you know, custom-made car every Monday or Friday or whatever day he was wrestling to the ring. Well, this time, with Santa's handing out presents, <laughs> Del Rio shows up. The camera cuts to the crowd, cuts back to Santa, and the car <laughs> runs over Santa Claus. Runs him over. Christmas Eve, 8 o'clock. Now, if we were on that website, seeing Santa Claus flying across the world, did he suddenly just go, Bruh! just disappear off that website? <laughs> did he? <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't he know. might have. He may. I don't. I, nobody knows. Nobody, nobody knows, knows still to this day. Nobody knows. So the children in the crowd, devastated. People yes. at home who are watching, who are preparing their children to go to sleep. And let's sit down as a family and watch the flat shake program, Buddy and I Raw together. And they've just watched Santa get run over by a car. Does that not like put a kind of like a, a weird feeling into a child's gut saying like, wait, is there not going to be any presents tomorrow morning? To, or something like they more than that. They was like, will we ever get presents ever again? Because someone was like, oh, my God, he killed Santa. Yeah. Like, literally, you heard someone yell that out in the crowd. 
And now, is it underneath the Tim Allen Santa Claus rules? So if Santa dies, do you grab his coat and you put it on and you become <laughs> Santa Claus? You know, Ricardo Rodriguez is having a meltdown. Oh my God. You ran over there. Yeah. <laughs> that was Ricardo Rodriguez. The Rio's like, oh man, e, uh, uh. but Ricard- Ricardo is in full on oh, meltdown right. with tears. Yes. Yes. And an Oscar yes. to this yes. gentleman because mm-hmm. he deserved it that night. <laughs> so Santa's been run over by a car. Well, we have to continue raw because it's like 8.15 now. Right. So we still have to have segments of Raw where eventually, uh, you know, backstage, Daniel Bryan and Kane were a tag team. They exchanged Christmas presents. You saw AJ Lee kind of like, uh, you know, hanging out backstage as well. You saw a lot of superstars doing Christmas stuff, but you also saw. And they saw, were dressed up too. Oh, you know, they were dressed up. Um, so now you have to go backstage to Matt Stryker, who's doing like backstage announcing. And he's like, I don't know. Folks, this is taking a turn for the worst. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think that worse and worse every time. I was like, "We're checking on Santa, and he, it it doesn't look good right now." <laughs> oh, we're back again, guys, and Santa is not looking good, and we don't know what's happening. And the and the worst part about this is too is you show Matt Stryker and he's doing his bit, and yet there's a door open to the medical facility where Santa is. You, right, you see, see yeah. you see Santa. Let me get my let me get going here. You see Santa's feet like this. Yes, and it's it, just moving. He's like a dead corpse. His feet yeah. aren't moving for every time they go to Matt Striker. You don't see Santa's feet moving. Are we showing a dead body behind Matt Striker this whole time on Christmas Eve? Yeah. <sighs> so like, and every time the guy is standing there, you just see it. You hear like a little like they have like a um, the EKG machine. Which, Yes, yes, they have a machine beep. just beep it, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> and it's like, guys, we don't know. Santa looked like he's taking a turn for the worst, guys. We, we're, we'll keep you updated. Don't worry. Like, I'm like, oh shit. Now it's like nine. Yeah, like, it's like nine o'clock at night again. Right. Christmas is coming, folks, and yet we're still <laughs> emphasizing that Santa's probably dead behind oh. us, but we're gonna keep showing his dead feet over and over and over again right. on right. Monday Night Raw, December twenty fourth. Christmas Eve. Who, and finally, who, who did this? Who I deal with this? I don't but, know. but finally, one of the, the, the highlights of it is Booker T coming out of the medical room and all the wrestlers are on the outside. And Booker T is like, I don't know, you know, this is not good. This is not good. And, and Del Rio is like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to do it. Well, at but, first he was like, he didn't do it. Then he yeah, was like, well, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. And I was like, it was you. It was yeah. you. We saw you. We saw you. And then Dario's like, but everyone knows where I drive my car. <laughs> he shouldn't have been in the way. <laughs> he, yeah, he shouldn't have been in the way. He was, he was, in, he was in his way. That, though the Booker T decides to book a match, a miracle on 34th 30. Street Fight. Was this the birth of that? Because they do this like every year now. I don't know if it's the birth, but I do love... I'm a, I'm a sucker for holiday specials. It doesn't matter what episode <laughs> of anything. It could be a family sitcom, a movie. I will watch Falalala Lifetime all December, watching all those holiday specials on Hallmark oh, and everything. Yeah, that, yeah, you're like, okay. I'm that and person. It starts, it starts right after Thanksgiving. It starts right after Halloween. Thank you very much. Oh, um, okay. Halloween. <laughs> my Christmas tree goes up on July 5th. But yes. So suddenly we have Booker T booking a match and Booker T is giving John Cena like the stink guys. Like, you need to take care of this. You need to take care of this. And John Cena and the most famous quote like, of all time, not hustle, loyalty and respect. Not you can't see me. No, 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 no. He puts his fist up, up. And, and yells, <laughs> for Santa. <laughs> Outstanding. It's outstanding. That's a, it's his, his, peace, um, his um, peacemaker uh, voice. Oh, yeah, yes. It, yeah. It was. Before there was a peacemaker. This is That's the peacemaker. What... This is a birth of peacemaker celebrating, there you go. helping yep. us all survive Santa. But yet we go again to that weird doorway where you see Santa's feet and out of nowhere, like meep, meep, me. Right. You just right. killed Santa on TV. What TV? Yeah. What's going on? And then out of nowhere, <laughs> and out of nowhere here, ding, 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 ding. 
ding, 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 ding. Apparently, Santa's heart rate is going to jingle bells. Right. <laughs> He's alive! And you see his feet going, clapping dangling, back and yeah. forth, dangling. He's alive! It's only 1045 at night. Christmas Eve, children probably been calling the police all night long, say, oh, Brooklyn the Real murdered Santa Claus, and it right. will be no yep. Christmas. But yet... We did get John Cena versus Alberto Del Rio in a Miracle on 34th Street fight where each person would open up a present to get a weapon. Well, yeah. every time John Cena would open up the box, it'd be like a bowling ball, a steel chair. <laughs> when Del Rio would open it, he got a pie. And at one point, he's like, a pie? A pie? Right. Then, <laughs> what is he supposed to do with the pie? <laughs> and, yeah, the pie? What do, we do? what do we do with the pie? And then he had, um, he actually opened a box and he was like, oh, this time it'll be a good weapon. And it's a teddy bear. And it's a teddy bear. And he's like, he rips it at John Cena's chest. John Cena did not sell that teddy right. bear. That was nope. the beginning of fans really critiquing John Cena for not selling. And uh, certain, he certain moves, yeah. He didn't yeah. sell that. He didn't yeah. sell the teddy bear spot. But luckily, Santa Claus returned to the ring and he gave Alberto Del Rio and Rodrigo, uh, Ricardo Rodriguez the Mr. Socko, which was actually just, it, it was a, instead of a Socko, it was a like Santa Claus, you know, mitt. And he put her over there. <laughs> so my suspicions are that Mick Foley might have been dressed say, as Santa Claus. I was say, was Mick Foley dressed up as Santa Claus? I'm sure he loved it too. I'm, I'm sure he probably loved doing that. I don't know, but they told me all night that was really a Santa Claus. So I, you know, I've never seen Mick Foley and Santa Claus in the same place together, but I also don't want to suggest Mick Foley is Santa Claus. I don't want to screw up right, anyone's right. Uh, the, childhood the, memories. Child, yeah, that's true. You're right. I don't, don't, don't want to do that. This. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Luckily, John Cena saved our lives and Santa was they, alive. Christmas yeah. came that morning. We opened our presents. We celebrated with family members. What a wonderful night. But what a strange, <laughs> strange segment like you brought up a little while yes, ago yes who was like i got a good idea let's right. kill santa and let's make a whole thing about santa and we're gonna have uh, someone like be backstage commentator give back-to-back -back updates on how santa is doing who said that who did I, this i don't know it wasn't bruce pritchard i don't think he was there i don't think he worked then there yet yeah no, he, he, he already he got fired there. for uh apparently yeah. bringing a gun to wwe and pulling it on employees. That's the story that has been out there. But he did a whole podcast about how we actually got fired. And he did bring a wow. gun, but it was in a box. No, it wasn't loaded. It's a really good episode, actually, of that podcast. <laughs> it really goes into to, great I have detail. To, I have to listen to it. It goes into very, listen. very great detail about okay. exactly what happened. What happened that day? And, in his uh, words. In his words. And pretty okay. much Conrad Thompson suggests that Stephanie McMahon kind of set all this up so he would get fired mm. so she would be the boss and he wouldn't be the boss anymore and so. look what's happening now he's back baby and he works for her but yeah. folks we gotta, <laughs> we gotta hand out the prestigious disaster award to stand up being run over uh, Rio. Mm -hmm. five, five disasters means it's the worst possible thing you've ever seen with your eyes and a half a disaster saying Meh, it's really not that bad I'm going with a half a disaster. I'm, I'll go. I'll go. I was going to do four, but half a disaster. It wasn't that bad. It was actually, you know, some parts you were like, oh, my God. Like, are you serious? But mm -hmm. it wasn't bad. I, I'll give it a I'll give it a, a half. All right. It's wrestling. You know what I mean? Like, it's what, what, do you, right. what do you expect? It's Christmas. It's Christmas. And again, I'm a sucker for anything Christmas. So if we do any more right. Christmas episodes or Halloween or or that time Kevin Owens was hit with a pie in the face. It will always be a uh, highlight of me. I'll always give a half. <laughs> I probably just picked this so I can just talk about it <laughs> one more right. time. <laughs> eh, what you Not do? bad, you know. I just think it's holidays. so funny. I just yeah. think it's so funny. Like, Santa's dead. You don't know if there'll be a Christmas. <laughs> How are we oh. supposed to do this anymore? We can't finish this show. It's Christmas. He needs to deliver packages. Yeah. And again, Santa uh, Tracker. He's, he, he's, he's getting all his presents. He's doing all his presents. Hit by a car. Out. <laughs> Out. Out of all things, he's supposed to be in someone's house delivering packages at the time. Right. Imagine you're living in like Australia and you're like, yeah. um, he's supposed to be flying over my house right now, according to his website. But yet on TV, Santa, like, for for, hit for, like here's an example. I went to a parade once, a Thanksgiving Day parade in my hometown. Okay. And at, at the end of the parade, there's Santa Claus on a sleigh and horses. That's how as the parade usual. ends, yeah. as usual, right? 
Okay. Well, in the middle of the parade, you know, you have different people. You have like school bands. You yeah. have random things like that. Well, balloon the, ri- yep. balloon ride, b- b- you know, uh, float stuff like that. Float. Yeah, not right. Well, in the <laughs> middle of the parade, there was a gentleman who thought it'd be fun to dress up as Santa Claus. Do you know what mass confusion this caused the, kids, yeah, the yeah. children? Because they looked at that man and said, "There's Santa." Well, the parade keeps going, and at the end, there's Santa. Like, does Santa get lost? Like, or how are like... there two Santas, and why do they look different? Oh, yeah, you you messing up the kids. You're head. messing. You, you're, you're messing, you're with messing the kids up. Head. They, 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 they're, they're, they're not. They're like. Was it Santa? Didn't Santa just pass us? Didn't we, yes. I, I just saw him. Like, so how did he get the sleigh? Like, where did the reindeer come from? Did he like, lose them? Yeah. And, and, you know, maybe we're going to too much of a great detail about this, but it's like if this aired on like the 23rd and they did the segment, okay, I get right. that. Right. But right. you literally killed Santa Claus for three hours on an episode of Raw on Christmas Eve leading into Christmas when people, ex- <laughs> people are expecting Santa to right. be flying over their house dropping presents. Yes. Ah. I don't know. And give or take, and I'm sure this this episode may have been taped. Oh, it definitely was taped. Oh, it definitely was taped. Um, It was not live. But there you go, folks. Another edition of Wrestling Disasters. Merry Christmas to you and to your loved ones. Hold them close. Chestnuts roasting. Open, open fire, all that good stuff. (laughs) Figgy pudding. But folks, we're done here. Thank you for Um, tuning in. But guess what? Your Christmas present next week at Wrestling Disasters is me and my co-host talking about when the great Kylie won the World Heavyweight Championship. So Merry Christmas! <laughs> I bet is that'll it? give you a silent night. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. It's like a silent but deadly fart. Thanks for being here, folks. <laughs> I'm a C-Fall. She's Chrissy Love. We'll see you next time for another edition of Wrestling Disasters. Merry Christmas, Hello. I think. <laughs>